Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for joining us in tonight's edition of Viewpoint on DBS Television. Be aired from Monday to Friday at 6 30 p.m. and equally on Facebook. First, uh, it was the Northwest and the Southwest, uh, one led us part from the Republic, and now it is uh, the Northwest and the Southwest uh, to part ways. And uh, in tonight's edition, we'll be trying to find out this uh, xenophobic uh, utterances uh, from a uh, the brothers of uh, one of the English speaking regions. And to discuss about this particular topic, we are having a civil society activist with us, Kimbang Vitalis. He'll be accompanied naturally by Mange Fenashus. Good evening to you, Kimbang Vitalis, and thank you very much for coming again. Good evening, Manisa. Good evening, televiewers. I wish to say a happy Merry Xmas to all our viewers that have been watching us all over, especially my family, and my wife, Madame Kiyomun Berinu Yvonne Kimbang, and the entire Kimbang's family. Probably your wishes have gone across. Manga Vinashus, good evening and welcome. Good evening, Vanessa. Uh, good evening, uh, televiewers. Good evening to Mr. Kimbang Vitalis, who for some time we've not had him, uh, we've not had the opportunity to be with him. And uh, like he started, let me wish a happy Christmas and a prosperous new year to all those who are watching us from Kumbu, those who are watching us from Jakiri, and to the members of the St. Francis and So Choir here in Douala. Holy Mary's Chapel Motocross. A Merry Christmas goes to all the special televiewers of Viewpoint in Cameroon, out of Cameroon as a whole. Let us take the first part of the show. You're all welcome. The xenophobic utterances from Chief Moja Moja in Boya having any consequences on the ongoing crisis. Kimba Vitalis, I'll be with you. Yes. Yes. Manga Uh, uh No, Vanessa. No. And uh, the second question with this grain attitude is there a way out from the crisis? Manga No, Vanessa. No. Vitalis? Yes. Yes. Coming up next, let us have the debate. The xenophobic utterances from Chief Moja Moja in Boya having any consequence on the ongoing crisis in the northwest and the southwest region. Kimbang Vitali said uh, this took place uh, recently, that about one week ago, and uh, you've known how heated debates have been ongoing about uh, his outing, actually the carrying out kind of hate speech or inciting violence among uh, the two english-speaking regions that is the northwest and the southwest region and you think that uh, this will have enormous consequences on the ongoing crisis good evening once more Vanessa. Uh, i wish to say that um, i was very very disappointed when i first watched the videos that was produced by Muja Muja some months back, targeting his brothers from the northwest region. I think growing up in the village, I knew that if the phone is a phone for everybody, the phone belongs to everybody. And we know that if you arrive any village, any time in the night, the safest place that you can be welcome and you, you will be well fed. And you'll be sure that you will sleep, sleep very well is the palace. So when we see a fawn, there's somebody who calls himself a chief. Instead of bringing unity, he goes about uttering uh, a xenophobic and hate speech, inciting violence among citizens. I don't think Moja Moja deserves to be a chief. First of all, I was, uh, when he started those his hate speech some months back i was waiting that government was going to take very serious action against him but i but it took so many so some months before he was called to order so i want to believe that 
if we are preaching a one an indivisible Cameroon, it means that anybody is free to live anywhere in Cameroon. And when you somebody like Muja Moja says he wants to fight the Amber Boys, he was like saying all the people in, from the northwest regions are Ambazonian supporters or are Ambas, which for me is very wrong. This crisis has affected almost everybody. There are some people that have left from the northwest and have run down to the southwest. There are some people that left the southwest and have run up to the northwest. So wherever you find yourself, it is the duty of your brother or sister in that village to provide you security and even to provide you food and help at any time that you need it. So somebody like Muja Muja coming up to say that the people of the Northwest region should go back. Calling on his brothers to chase To chase them away. away. Do, uh, does Muja Muja know how many Southwesterners are living in the Northwest permanently that they will never go back to, to their villages? So I don't think Muja Muja is, do, does not have the spirit of a backward man. Because I know the backward people as people who are very welcoming. And that's why when you go to Boya, they call the town the, the, the town of legendary hospitality. hospitality. Meaning that the people are very hospitable people. The town of friendship. Friendship. So somebody like Muja Muja coming up with such utterances, I was very, very disappointed. And I want to believe that... So how is it going to have a consequence on the crisis going on? Vanessa, you know that people have various ways of interpreting things. People have various ways. If you... There are some people that when, the, the, when they watch those, his videos... And because the first, the first video he, I watched... I, he, 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 he singled out uh, one bass guy from an online and got him well beaten. And do you think that even the Southwesterners who are in the Northwest, seeing their chief doing this to a Northwesterner, are they going to be comfortable living in the Northwest? No. Because they will have that fear that maybe the Northwest people then are going to retaliate. So I think it is going to further divide the people and prolong the, 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 the crisis. But thank God he was called to order. And By the he, Prime Minister. Yes. Mm -hmm. He went on air, apologized and asked all the Northwesterners to live like one man. So I think he really must have discovered that each and everybody was against him. So I think we should try to discourage such utterances, mm -hmm. especially from people whom we look up to them as leaders. Because as a leader, you are a peacemaker. You are not somebody that brings disorder. I learned that in my, my 16 or my 17 the other day, he blocked the road for two hours. What sort of a chief is that? Those are chief people that they don't even deserve to be leaders of any, any village. But if you do you do like that as a chief, what do you expect these delinquent boys to do in the village? So I think it is it is something that we have to discourage it and condemn it with all our force. Something which is uncalled for. Thank you very much, Kimbang Vitalis. Manga Venashis, you rather think that these xenophobic uh, utterances or hate speech will not aggravate uh, the crisis that has been ongoing for almost four years? Uh, yes, Vanessa, I would like to indicate the maturity and you know positivity that those who suffered from the wayward nature attitude or behavior of this uh, boya base chief uh, moja moja they i mean the way they reacted one would have expected to get a kind of clash coming out from such and because vanessa i am a cameroonian wherever i am if i go to the far north region I am a Cameroonian. Mm -hmm. If I go to the East region, I am a, if I go to Yaoundé, I am a Cameroonian. In Douala here, I am a Cameroonian. You don't walk up to me and tell me to leave. Where do I live to? Unless you want to declare that I am not here, I am not a Cameroonian. And if you come to tell me, go, I will also tell you to go. I was so happy when he acted like that and these people from the Northwest, they took it the way they, 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 mm -hmm. they, 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 they had to go through it. 
It because with serenity, with serenity come, come and maturity. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is what, if we should demonstrate this kind of spirit, maybe a lot of violence that we have in our society, we may not have it. I said that the, 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 that the, the, his utterances mm -hmm. will have no impact on the crisis because Moja Moja was speaking as an individual. He was not speaking on behalf of the Bakweri man. And when you listen to comment or commentaries that people made when the video circulated on social media, I don't, I think, I don't see, I did not see as many Bakweri people sharing the same opinion. Which means, if it was something that was coming from the Bakweri people, it could have an impact. Mm -hmm. But it was an individual who, who brought out his, I don't want to call it, who brought out his uncultured behavior to public. Because to him, he thinks that because he is in Bakweri, in, in his land, the world is, the world, you know, circulate around his village. Forgetting that he has children. Where are his children supposed to be? If this his children are supposed to travel out of his village, they are going into another person's land. Mm -hmm. And will that person also get up and say, leave my land? And he forgets. He forgets that if they have to go into the history, the Bakweris are not the original settlers of that land. They came. They came. Which means f they are also strangers. In fact, what I, what made me to say that it has no impact was because, you see, others did not come into the into his ideology. Did not fall into his trap. Oh, of course, no. you see, he wanted to bring in some, I want to say, some uh, shallow-minded young people into his gang, but it did not work no, because just, just a few. A few, yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the the problem is that there is a law that punishes hate speech. Mm -hmm. And if somebody like Moja Moja has been uttering his speech for months and nothing happens to him, mm -hmm. that is where my fear is. Does that mean that we have two laws for two people in Cameroon? Because normally he was supposed to have been punished. So that should serve as a deterrent to other people that might be thinking to bring up such ideas. But for government to allow him for months to, 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 to do that, I think that's where my problem is coming from. Yes, that's a problem. That is an issue at that point. But as concerning the crisis as such, I think that people people neglected him. People uh, interpreted it as uh, this is minima. It does not make sense because if he would have succeeded in mobilizing <coughs> the Bakweri community to rise up against the, the Northwesterners in their locality, that would have been a different thing. That would have been completely a different thing. And it is it would have been from there that we were supposed to have issues like saying that uh, uh, if the Bakweri people are rising up against the Northwesterners, then that would be another point or another situation that will provoke the crisis the more. But thank God, the way things turned out the way they were, uh, they ignored him, they sidelined him. And when you even look at the position of the chief of Chief Moja Moja, he is not as such an influential chief mm -hmm. as such. Mm -hmm. Take for example, uh, the, 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 the Bafon Fon. Take for example the chief of the Bakweris himself. You see, these are chiefs of first class chiefs. Mm -hmm. Those are people who command authority. In normal setting, the kind of chief that he is, he is a quarter head. Like Manga Minashius, like you already said, uh, his plans fail because just a minimal amount of uh, media influencers but, but I, I supported the idea. Yeah, I, I supported want to the idea, and they later on realized that they had fought and apologized. Yes, okay. I want to but, tell but, you that I want to come it, out it, from created, this issue. it created fear and panic. Yes, in the minds of some people in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, although people did not uh, take it that way, but according to popular opinion. I could read fears into people. Mm -hmm. yeah, trying yes. to create division yes, among people. Yes, create, trying to create division among people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that it, it, is, it is going to, it might not really have a very big impact, but it, 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 it has it. Mm -hmm. yes. It has created an impact. Yes, already. it has created an impact. Although the impact is not so much, but it has created an impact. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. Thank but you. Like he said, that people should come and celebrate with him. Mm -hmm. Do you think that any Northwesterner will have the gods to go to his palace and celebrate with him? That is no, that, 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 that is where that is where I was coming in to indicate here that there are things that there are times we say in ethics. I don't you don't ask somebody to say I am sorry. When you ask somebody to say I am sorry, it is a kind of you have asked for an apology. Apology Are you trying or, to say he was being forced to apologize. Of course, it's not yes. it's not trying to say that's what was because from the minister prime minister's uh, visit, that's why the prime minister asked him to stop it. And to apologize to those people he, he has been harassing. 
So therefore, if he has been harassing them and they ask him to apologize and he comes up to say that, I am sorry for doing this. You see, this kind of sharp bend, this kind of sharp turn, you know, this kind of, the way he changed his mentality so fast mm -hmm. is doubtful. And at times, people will tend to doubt whether this conversion is actually from the heart. From the heart, whether yes. he was sincere. Yeah, yeah, whether he is sincere. Mm -hmm. Because what we, what, what we are trying to find out is, if he just said, because they asked him to apologize, he is not apologizing from, he's not convinced of what he is saying. He is not, you know, he has not realized that he made an error. Simply they ask him, no, what you are doing is wrong. Apologize. And he just apologized. And you think that what, what we are calling for is to believe that he should be able to put that his apology into practice. That apology should come from his mentality. He should be convinced that what he was doing was wrong. Because it's like... A, a, you know, a, a, a requested. Yeah, yeah. When I look at the actions of Moja Moja, I want to believe that he need a, a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I've been watching his video. But you see, you will be a fun, and you will make yourself so common such a way that just after every two minutes, you go inside the room and make a video and, and bring out. How many fun have we seen doing that? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. He, I'm sure. Um, when you look at him physically, you know, like somebody who takes drugs. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's not normal because I've not seen any normal phone that will go out every every after uh, every incident. Yeah, he goes, he out. goes and make a video mm -hmm. and he comes out to show how strong he is. You, you don't you don't advertise your that, strength. Your strength. Mm -hmm. We know the stronger we tr the strong phones in the northwest and the southwest regions. Mm -hmm. So he's not like getting uh, on bringing a, a fake popularity because anybody nobody can start him as. As anybody, as him, and for me, individually, I consider he's somebody. not an influencer. Yeah, anyway. he's a madman for me. He's a madman. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kima Vitalis and Man Kevin Ashus, for your contributions in that first question. In the second question, with this grain altitude, uh, is there a way out from the crisis? Kimba Vitalis, you think there is a way out? So, how or what can be done for us uh, to finally witness the peace that Cameroon has been enjoying? Vanessa, there, there's no, there's no two ways. To have peace in this country the only way to have peace in this country is for each and every one of us to show love to each other when you move around you will discover that we don't love each other that's a main that's a main problem i travel almost every week from Bermuda to Douala, and i see the way uh, things are being done on the road you see that there's no love the other day i was coming back and they held a, one old mother that did not have id card and I went down and asked, but what can this, what can, what security threat can this woman uh, pose to this nation? Somebody cannot run. Somebody cannot hold a gun. Somebody can, yes. And I asked the, the military man, if it were a mother, and somebody harasses her like this on the way, how will you feel? You discover that people don't, people don't have love for each other. Whereas what we are looking for is love, and this is, is the lack of love that is making everybody, all of us, to be fighting. People, people, people are not even that way. Look at it, because people are not interested in solving the crisis, the problem. And now it has generated into such a way that if I hate you, I will just kill you in the name of Anglophone crisis. And you know that the killings that is going on now, presently in the northwest and the southwest, those killings are not battle killings. That people that have died on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot confidently yes. outline or say who has carried out. Yes, the other day we heard that uh, the the, pres the man manager of Young Sport Academy was killed and an off license. So you discover that it has become hatred. It was you you, you don't have people dying in battles now. People dying in their homes. People dying in their business places. Like you it has it has become a fatal ground for, for yes for revenge scores. Certain scores mm -hmm. because of what? Because we don't love each other. But uh, uh, the, I want to say that all in all. The, the, the solution to this crisis lies in the hands of the government. And I always say that if we organize a dialogue where you will not tell me what to say in, before going into the hall, where I will come out from the hall satisfied that what was boiling in me, I've already I've vomited it and you have listened to me, I think this crisis will come to an end. But we'll continue to believe that we'll use force to bring peace. You cannot bring peace by force. Peace comes from within. Peace come when you make me when you when 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 you uh, make me happy, I'll 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 be, I'll be peaceful. But if you want to suppress me, for example, somebody quoted that you cannot take a balloon, inflate it, and try to force it inside water. One day it will come out. So that is what is really happening to us in this nation. And I'm pleading that um, during this end of year, the head of state, our father, President Paul Bia. They should, what people, they, the international bodies 
have been saying this all over release all the prisoners and call for a major national dialogue i want to beg you there are people that are languaging in Kondingi and other prisons in Cameroon. And I believe that if President Paul Bia can release all of them, it is going to, 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 to give them some confidence, some sense of belonging. Then our refugees that are out, like those who are in Nigeria, we reach out to them. Let the Cameroon government reach out to them and see how they can come back to their country. Because once you build a child and that child runs out of the house and you don't follow that child, that child feels that I am not... I am not, uh, I'm not important. I am not valued. valued. If I'm valued, why should my father allow me to, to go out? Like, just like uh, 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 Yaya in the White Man of God by Kenji's mom says, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you be the child, and after the child has cried for some time, you, 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 you go and come with the child, to show, the that, child. Mm -hmm. yeah, to show that God cannot punish forever. Mm -hmm. But if you be the child and the child goes out, I don't care whether the child is where, and you are only saying that, no, come back, come back. You should go and see where the child is living. Play with the child, come back, and that child will only come back after he has seen signs that you love him. After so, he has seen yeah. signs that you love him. Anyway, we are anticipating that uh, on the 31st of uh, December, uh, something will come out that different is, that from is my the prayers. head of state's speech. Manga Venal Shoes, you think that uh, there is no way out of this uh, situation? Yes, Vanessa, there is no way out of this situation because we are talking in relation to such it's utterances mm -hmm. from somebody like Moja Moja because his utterances, they mean nothing to the crisis. Actually, the solution of this crisis it, it goes beyond what Moja Moja is doing. Moja Moja is just like they say, he's just, you know, he's just disturbing the, 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 the atmosphere because if, like I said, if the action came from a collective from 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 his tribe from from his from people from that uh, locality we could see something like uh, uh you know there, there is an influence in the crisis but then what he is doing is not able to succeed in dividing you know the anglo the, the, the anglophones he is not succeeding in dividing the northwesterners from the southwesterners they still remain one and indivisible people. He's not succeeding, and by so doing, he's not succeeding in, you know, in solving the crisis as, as a whole. Instead, instead, what we have is, if it continues, and if the Prime Minister did not go to, 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 to Boya, mm -hmm. we, the interpretation we would have had is, like, he's an accomplice, or, or the government is silent to what is happening. The government does not care about what is happening to other Cameroonians in that part, and in that case it will question the the slogan the government has been preaching for long one and indivisible cameroon mm -hmm. vanessa remember that this such type of utterances they did not start with moja moja remember we have always had this uh, famous slogan in boya where they used to refer to northwesterners as come no go come no go because when they come to boya they are very industrious when they come to boya they they they, they you find them, they work and sell oh, food. They are generally hard working, so everywhere they go, they try to create an impact. Of course, and now they refer to them as come no go. And the question we are asking is, come no go, where are they coming to? And where are they going to? Mm -hmm. If I am a Cameroonian and I go anyway, that's, where, that, that, that's what I mean by saying that. When what Moja Moja is doing has no impact because it started even before this crisis and it did not go anywhere. And then, like I said, this come no go syndrome, it, it was not the Bakweri people saying it. We are some very minor people, individuals. individuals, individuals, yes, and they struggle with the come no go syndrome, and it did not go anywhere because if this come no come no go syndrome would have succeeded, no Westerners would have been chased out of Southwest for long. So since they did not succeed, it means what Moja Moja is doing now will not have any, you know, it will uh, not help. In yeah, the, uh, but practically, when you look at Cameroon, it is very difficult to say that you are going to chase somebody from this region to this region. <laughs> we are so intermarriage in such a way that there is no way you can say that go to your village or I should go to my village. For example, uh, we, uh, my junior brother is directly married to a francophone. Okay. And tomorrow I will not say that. Okay, I hate yeah, francophone. Mm -hmm. If I hate francophone, then I will call it my brother's student of or course. my brother's wife. That is it. So when we preach, one are indivisible. People like people, the phones and the rest of the people should be the people propagating and, pro and promoting it, not the people that would try to bring division among us. Act but actually, Mr. Kamban. Actually, when you look at it, there are Southwesterners who are well established in the Northwest that they will never go back to yes. the Southwest. Mm -hmm. yes. There are Northwesterners who are well established in the Northwest that 
the the servers that they can never no, go all, back. All the rituals are interconnected. Yes. You have family cases, but that will never go back. Mm -hmm. For example, you have uh, you go to Bonaberry and other parts in the world. You see people that they have come here from the north, from from all over the, the national territory, and they are here, and they don't even dream of ever going back. And they have lived here for more than fifty years. Yes. There. When you ask that sort of person, go back to your own region. To go to where? Mr. Kimbang, you are even talking of go back to go back even back in our village. We have people in Jakiri who have been settled, who are the family case who are settled. Their children were born in Jakiri. They don't even know their dialect as much. Very good. The dialect that they speak is even Lamso because they grew there. They hardly even go back to their villages. Mm -hmm. Get up how you tell such a person go back to your village. Where, where, where is even your village? And we, so, myself, where, and where is your village? Uh, myself, an example. Of course. I, I was, I grew up in Jakiri from, oh. from primary school to of secondary course. school to university. To university. And we are, we are established in Jakiri. So, how do you tell that you go back to his village? Okay, go to my village. People don't even know me in my in village. They know village. me in Jakiri. Of course. So, oh. that is that, that, that unity, that, mm. that, uh, that, uh, one individual can run that. We are searching yeah, for. Searching for. But so when it comes to people like Muja Muja giving utterance that uh, people should go to the various uh, regions or come no go and the rest, my problem is that government should really hit hard on these types of people, punish them, and let the law take its course. And let the law take its course. Man, Governor, should share take home message. Thank you, Vanessa. It's just to indicate that each Cameroonian, you have the possibility. You know the possibility. You have the right to feel at home wherever you are. You are not a stranger in as much as you are within the national territory in Cameroon. You are a Cameroonian and you have all the right to be where you are. You have all the right to be where you are. Kimba Vitali, sir, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much, Vanessa. I would like to greet uh, the front of my village, the front of Binshwa, who was my friend. We grew up together, but today he's a big man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want to send my special greeting to the front of Binshwa in Kambi Center Subdivision. All right, your message has gone across and had, uh, it's a, a Merry Christmas week. And so we will all be sharing this joy with you and wish you a Merry Christmas in advance. We have barely one day to go and uh, the new year very few days to go so happy new year equally in advance uh, take a rendezvous for tomorrow see you and do take care goodbye